because the four pillars that really make all of this work really is the database and the data management, the analytics, then it's the development and integration, and mm -hmm. then the inte uh, intelligent, intelligent technologies. technologies. Yeah. yeah. And if you can, and then there's all these little items under each one of those. And so it's very interesting how you can like be able to, um, cause you know. So, so basically everything that you need to build a solution is available as a BTP service tool or a product, right? So to, to what you said earlier, Kendall, that you, know, you can pick and choose what you want mm -hmm. in order to build your solution. And your data is probably already residing in one of your backend systems, or this is a completely new yeah. application you're building where you're innovating, right? And it's independent of any backend system. So that's one of the mis- um, understanding in the market that, mm -hmm. hey, you know, I need to have an SAP backend in order to use BTP, not necessary because BTP is a platform on which you're building solutions. And so you can start a brand new application and, you know, build, build that on, on BTP. So you don't have to have an SAP backend. And another thing is you don't have to have S4 to use BTP. You can yeah. be on ECC, you can I be on a non SAP system and still use BTP. I saw that. I was like, uh, how far back can you go on ECC? And go back to R2? As long as R3? you can, yeah, as long as you can package that data and provide <laughs> it as an API, sure, why not? Because See, all BTP I, is doing is it's building using your innovative technologies, but then it's just using your, you know, existing data. And it's, how is it using your existing data? You're packaging that data and making it available through an API call. 